here he is, the guy everybody wants to see at Pac-12 Media Day on the Fox lot on Pico here in the city of Los Angeles. It is one of the most recognizable names in college football, an amazing stretch at the University of Oregon. None other than Chip Kelly joining us right now on the Petros and Money Show right here on Fox Sports Radio. What's cracking, Coach, and how are you? We're good. I'm enjoying this beautiful sunshine. Now, has it been a tough day for you? I mean, a lot of questions being bandied about. I know that you had to come in making a statement about an NCAA investigation. This is, is this the hardest media day you've ever had as a head coach in college football? Of the three I've had? Yes. <laughs> of those three many ones I've had? No, it is what it is. You know, we, said we made a statement, and we'll stand by the statement, and we'll talk about it. How, has it made it difficult day-to-day -day life in Eugene and, and running the team and, and doing things with the investigation and the whole Willie Lyles thing? Has that been uh, troublesome for you guys? I mean, how, how have you handled it day in and day out going into no, this football game? It, it, has, it hasn't affected our team's preparation. It hasn't affected our coaches' preparation. We've always talked about we don't run our program based on outside influence. What we do control is how we go to work each day and how we approach the work each day, and that hasn't changed. And I always tell people, Oregon's practice looks different. I mean, everybody that you talk to says, oh, we practice differently and we have our own work ethic and practice, but your practice really does look different than anybody else's practice I've ever been to. There's a certain way that it happens that is just unprecedented. It's a very innovative way. Where did you get that? How did that develop? And do you guys still do it the same way? Or now that you've had success, is it just nine on seven, team, <laughs> seven on seven? Have you gone back to convention with the success? No. We believe there's a certain way to practice. A certain way to practice. Maybe we got that. We feel more efficient in our practice time. We don't practice as long as other people. Um, if we're not going to practice as long as other people, um, what's the quality of work that we have done in that framework? Um, we still do 9 on 7 and 10 on 7 on 6 on 8. It just seems to be a perspective. Talk a little bit about the quarterback position. Obviously, it was a question mark coming into the year with Thomas. He's a very good player, though. He doesn't seem to be the runner that Masoli was. And he, he's not really a, a great thrower, but he seems to understand and grasp the offense better than, than anybody, maybe maybe even better than Dennis Dixon. I mean, he really seems like very confident in the way he runs. I, I love Darren. I think, you know, you watch him kind of grow up in front of your eyes last year. Yeah, I can let us kind of ride. National Championship. Yeah, he actually threw the second most yards ever in the National Championship. He was trying to get 60 something. You know, I think. He's one of those guys, sometimes you look at him, he's not as fast as this guy, or he doesn't throw as well as this guy, but he's a total quarterback. He's as tough as any kid I've ever been he's, he's as competitive as any kid I've ever been around. And the exciting thing for us, we have for two more years, you know, he was just a sophomore last year. So to do what he did, um, as you know, to come into this league as a first year starter, and undefeated in the past. Right, look at that, there really you go. Kind of <laughs> so I think from there, um, it's really about improving on the little things, and, and that's what he's been working really hard on this spring. Summer, and we're excited to get back to work with him. Chip Kelly joining us right now on the Petrus and Money Show on Fox Sports Radio, live from Pac-10 Media Day. Everybody in a good mood and having a great time. How do you handle a guy like LaMichael James? I mean, here he is. He's he's in New York for the Heisman. He's a wonderful football player. He's a great kid, too. How do you deal with him as far as practice goes and how many how many hits he takes? And do you have a different approach with him going into this season, as, as different from last year? No, he practices just like many of our other running backs, you know, whether it's the Michael or Kenyon or any of those other guys that line up at the running back. Um, you know, I, I think when you start building things around, well, this guy's done this, so let's treat him differently. I think you send the wrong message to your football team. Um, there's days when we go live and all our running backs can be tackled. There's days when we're not live and our running, none of our running backs can be tackled. So um, Michael falls into the same boat as everybody else. And, and I know the great thing about him is he wouldn't want to be different. He doesn't want to be treated any special. Um, the reason he's so successful is how hard he works and what his preparation is for each game. And there's certain things he needs to see and we're going to provide that for practice. When do you start game planning for LSU? I mean, when does that happen? Does that happen right now or tomorrow or next week? Last February. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we've been, I, I, I've seen enough LSU teams uh, go in every day. And that, and, uh, unfortunately, those players don't leave. <laughs> you, you think when you turn the tape on for the thousandth time, and maybe that some of those guys won't be there. But, uh, you know, we, we obviously, it's, it's the premier game of the season. We have a, a ton of respect for what a great football club in New York, even from the SEC, which has won the last five national championships. And LSU has won the last game. You know, they were 11-2-2 last year. They were an unbelievable job at the top of the Texas A&M. So they're coming off a high to finish their season last year. They're coming off this talented, talented, talented football team on in every aspect of the game. So we've got our work cut out for us. We've been preparing as a coaching staff for a long time. This, um, our players have been preparing, and it's going to be a heck of a game to start the season.
is there is there a moment where you pinch yourself or the way you look in the mirror is a little bit different? I mean, you've been in big time college football 